name that we pray. starting lineups. First, for the visiting Falcons, number two, Melissa Henderson. Number four, Nakia Metcalf. Number 21, Olivia Bryson. Number 22, Laura Rebo. And number 35, Sydney Berquist. Good evening. Welcome to this game of uh, CCCB Women's Saints basketball. We are getting ready to go with your Lady Saints against the Kansas Christian Falcons. All right, and the tip goes to Claire Van Tomey. And now in the hands of Savannah Luna. Harmony Tart getting the start tonight. Kicks it to Van Tomey. Finds Lexi Wisnan back to Van Tomey. Savannah Luna with for the three is cash. Good. Starting off hot for the Saints. Um, for those of you that are currently watching the game and see that the score is set, um, we're not sure what's going on. We are going to try and fix it. Uh, this is a previous game, I believe, of Kansas Christian and the Saints. Um, so we are working on fixing that now. But out of bounds, it's going to be Falcons ball. That is into number four, Metcalf. Metcalf driving in with the travel, unfortunately. She was thinking she was going to get a foul there, but ended up going Saints way for the travel. All right, and for the Saints, Lexi Wisenand inbounding the ball. Lexi Wisenand on with the chance tonight to score her 1,000th point for her CCCB career as Harmony Tart drives in, puts it up, and rolls off. Rebounded by 21, Bryson for the Falcons. 
Mm, unfortunate reach in by Luna. Just trying to play some solid defense, ends up getting that reach in. Uh, to the point of Lexi. Lexi is chasing. Uh, she's very close, five points away, doing a great job here. Um, and then for Harmony Tart with her start tonight, uh, Brizendine is on the bench tonight, unfortunately, I believe injured. Um, so it's going to be – Saints are going to miss her. Uh, she is a starter, very high um, quality person for the Saints. But – Substitution for the Saints. Makaria Hines coming in for Savannah Luna as the Falcons looking to get some offense going. Number 21, Bryson with it. Dishes it. Shot is no good. Rebounded by the Falcons. That is another travel on Metcalf for the Falcons. A couple of quick mishaps by the Falcons wanting to clean that up. Saints leading 3-0. to zero as Harmony Tart has the ball for the Saints. And she is going to lose the ball, but finds the hands of Van Tomey. Macaria Hines with it is going to drive up and no good. Great pump fake by Hines, but she just want to get a little bit more arc on that shot. Kind of shot a laser towards the goal. The ball was rebounded by 35 Bergquist for the Falcons as Bryson with a shot up and goes in. First points of the game for the Falcons. Just a minute and a half into this game. Lexi Wisnan inbounding it to Harmony Tart. I like seeing Harmony Tart with the ball in her hands, being able to control this offense. Saints definitely have a much taller lineup in right now, um, but Tart does a great job with the ball, just making sure she controls it. And she finds Lexi <laughs> Wisnan <laughs> for the mid-range Three points shot. away. All right, pass up to the Falcons. Bryson with the shot up, no good. Rebounded by Van Tomey for the Saints. Van Tomey had that all day, just reached up and grabbed it. Makari Hines with possession for the Saints. Going to find Tart in the corner who is looking for something. Gives it to Wisnan. Wisnan thought about the mid-range shot again. Decided against it. Now Tart with it. Rachel Darling with the ball in hand. Loses it out of bounds. That's unfortunate. It's early in the game. It's not really necessarily warmed up in the game. You know, pressure gets to you a little bit. Just dribbled off her hands, but that's, that's all right. And a sub for the Saints. Rachel Darling coming out and Atira Davis, the Saints' leading scorer so far this season, coming in. Long pass to the corner. Going to miss that wide left. Lexi Wisnan with the rebound, getting, giving it to uh, Hines. Hines to Davis. Davis going to get the screen from Van Tomey. She kicks it to Hines. Hines for three. It is no good. Rebounded by the Falcons. I believe that is number two, Henderson, with the ball. The drive by number four, Metcalf. Tough finish for her. The Saints, Zardzewski, uh, Coach Zardzewski will take a timeout. It's just a 30-second timeout, and we will see you after that. All right, and we are back after the 30-second timeout. Saints, uh, Lexi Wisnan looking to inbound the ball. Quick timeout for the Saints. Not sh necessarily sure what was going on there. A little early in the game, I feel like. But two quick points uh, for the Falcons. She wants to get a timeout. Go ahead and talk about it with her team. Harmony Tart finds Wisnan. Wisnan pops the mid-range. No good. Rebounded by the Falcons. I believe that is Henderson. She's got the long hair. There's Metcalf driving again. Gets it ripped by Tira Davis. Body hits the floor, but still in the hands of the Falcons. Falcons do a great job making those long skip passes. They have their eyes up, always looking at the floor. The shot is up and long. No good. Rebounded by Saints Davis with it. That was a long two for Bryson that right there. And a carry call on Tira Davis, so it'll be the Falcons' ball. With 6 minutes, 12 seconds left to go in this first quarter of action. Don't see too many of those called anymore. Not many carries. As long as the ball is spinning in your hand, you can technically put it up. Um, so. 
Number 35, Bergquist with it. Gives it to 21, Bryson shot. No good, rebounded by Davis again. That's the second one that's just fallen into Davis' hands due to an air ball. The Falcons got to figure out something to do there. And Atir Davis throws the ball away, picked off by Melissa Henderson. And a foul call, this one on Vantomi. Vantomi, that seems like a little bit of a weak foul there. Um, she tried to let her hands up, and her defender got, or her man got through. So I'm not sure what that foul was for, a little weak. A couple of substitutions for the Saints, Harmony Tart and Lexi Wisnan coming out. Macy Wisnan and Rhea Brady coming in for the Saints. Woo! And the Saints, Macaria Hines picking the ball off, is going to drive, nice pump fake, up and good for Macaria Hines. I mean, that was just a great all-around play for Hines. Pickpocket first, then a nice pump fake, waves goodbye to her defender. Ooh, Falcons looking to answer quick. Macaria getting called for the foul, trying to get another steal there. You Falcons inbounding it. Number 35, Bergquist. Gets it to, gets it to Metcalf who gets ripped. Makari Hines, a pair of steals real quick and she's going to drive. Finds Macy Wisnan. Wisnan Davis in the corner for threes up and good Ooh. for Atira. Great shot and the Saints are leading by six. Tira Davis was a step behind the three point line there. She was just wide open. That is all day form shooting at its best. Number 21, Bryson with the ball for the Falcons. It's going to find Metcalf in the corner. Metcalf is going to drive and gets the ball swatted. Get that out of here. By Rhea Brady. Access denied at the rim there. And it looked like Metcalf was sitting on the out-of-bounds line as she touched the ball. So out-of-bounds on the Falcons, and the Falcons will take a timeout. Full or 30-second timeout. All right, and we are back by the 32nd with from the 32nd timeout for the Falcons. Saints inbounding it. Macy Wisenand will look to give it to Tira Davis. A Tira Davis with a uh, big hair hair change. Her hair's down now. I thought you were going to say something else. Yep. <laughs> Harmony Tart with that too. Harmony Tart has changed up her hair. Macy Wisenand with the ball for the Saints gets it to Brady. Brady's going to find Davis, thought about the three, instead is going to drive in, up and no good, but drawing the foul is Atira Davis. That was going to go in for the Saints no matter what it looked like there. Van Tomey just underneath waiting for the rebound. A couple of pair of Saints everywhere else. The foul was on the Falcons number 22, Rebo. And with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, Van Tomey's going to get a little bit of a break and Crutchfield is going to come in for the Saints. Tira Davis uh, misses the first one. And Davis goes one for two Boop. from the line to push the Saints lead by seven. Falcons bring the ball up. Rebo with it. We'll get it to Metcalf who falls on the ground trying to do a jab step. Broke her own ankles with that. And Deep Rebo. Three. Way out there. Hines going to bring the ball up for the Saints. Set up this offense. See what she's got here. Davis with it for the Saints. Getting it back to Hines. Hines going to make a move. Find Davis for three. Up and no good. Davis gets her own rebound. going to put it back up. One-handed floater. That was a nice little post shot for the guard of Davis, able to just flip it up there with a the baby hook. It's a way to stick with the sh play, following her own shot as Rebo's going to drive a floater of her own. This one no good. It finds the hands of 44, Rhea Brady. 
Saints playing some slow basketball right now. They are taking their time, setting up, not trying to get some fast breaks here. As Rhea Brady drives to the line and gets ripped. Rebo with it, pushing it to Henderson. The shot is up and rims out for the Falcons. Macy Wisnan with ball in hand. Macy Wisnan needs to get her head up. She had a couple of her Saints running down the floor open for layups. The foul is going to be on Nakia Metcalf for the Falcons. And quick sub for the Saints. Brady coming out and Van Tomey coming back in. The Falcons are doing a great job not fouling too much early on. They only have two, but they do only have one sub on the bench. So they are going to have to watch it, especially at the end of the game when people start to get tired, wanting to foul. Davis finds Wisnan. Wisnan to Van Tomey. It's going to hit Makaria Hines. Fake the three, drives, loses it. Finds the hands of Falcons number 22, Rebo, with Fal it. Falcons were in a 1-3-1 one, one defense, and that is a difficult drive to make because you were driving into three defenders right there. Falcons with the no good three, but they get the offensive rebound. Rebo putting it right up. No good in the hands of the Saints. Tier Davis bringing the ball up for the Saints. Going to find Hines. Hines will... It was like an offensive foul on Van Tomey. Illegal screen there. Got to set her feet, and she cannot turn. She can't seal her man until they are set and the screen has gone through. Sub for the Saints. Uh, Tier Davis coming out. Harmony Tart coming back in. Number 35, Bergquist with the drive. Van Tomey's got to watch out. That is her third of the game. Seems like very weak fouls um, for her. She was not happy with that foul. Looked up kind of in disgust <laughs> there. Uh, her hand was just down, but looks like the refs are going to call a lot in the post tonight. So all post defense is going to have to be straight up, good, clean defense. And number 35, Bergquist will go to the line for two. And substitution, uh, Van Tomey went out and uh, – Lexi Wisenand coming in. So we got the Wisenand sisters in for the Saints. And Bergquist goes one for two from the line. It'll be Saints ball, Harmony Tart bringing it up for them. Kari Hines with the ball for the Saints. Is going to drive. Pull up the mid-range off the rim. No good. And the ball will be out of bounds on the Saints. So it will be the Falcons ball. Substitution for the Saints. Rachel Darling coming in for Macy Wisenand. Number 22, Rebo, bringing the ball up for the Falcons. Number two, Henderson with the ball is going to find Bergquist. And is that a foul call, Travel? I missed travel. that. Travel that call. A travel call. Okay. Great defense by the Saints there. Crutchfield first, able to take her uh, man all the way down on the drive. And then Lexi just standing straight up post, not getting moved at all as they try to make a post move. Saints lead by five in the final two minutes of this first quarter. Hines with the ball in hand is going to find Rachel Darling. And Makaria Hines is going to and shoot one. and one. Great shot by Makaria Hines through the foul, and she will go to the line to shoot one, trying to complete the three-point play. The foul was on number two, Melissa Henderson for the Falcons. Makari Hines showing very early on in this first quarter that she is not scared to drive through contact. Multiple times she is just willing to put up a shot, defender on her, whether it's a pump fake. It's always a good move. Never looks like a bad shot, but through contact almost every time. <laughs> Rebo with the drive, kicks it to the corner. Bergquist with the shot up and no good. Rebound, Rachel Darling. Great Effort by her to get that rebound. Off to the races, too, wasting no time after that rebound. Lucaria Hines with the, with the ball for the Saints. 
They see Crutchfield with it back to Harmony Tart. 15 seconds left to go on the shot clock. Not a lot of movement by the Saints. Harmony Tart's going to drive. Yeah, the uh, Falcons coach called a travel. That's what I thought was going to be <laughs> called. But Saints are going to get away with a foul here. It was a foul. Um, I will say that it was a foul. So good call by the refs. This foul was on number three, Diamond Coleman for the uh, Falcons. So 20 seconds left on the shot clock to the Saints. And ball is off the thigh of Lexi Wisenand. That is a hard pass to make in the post, especially with the bounce pass. Having two defenders there, anytime you throw it just right in, unless the defender has their back to you, you want to lob that up to where only the person getting the ball can reach it. Rebo with the ball for the Falcons, she kicks it to the corner. And the ball tipped a few times, finds the hands of Harmony Tart. Great heads up by the Saints there. And Harmony Tart is going to drive, kicks it to Darling, finds Wisenand. No good on the mid-range rebound by Macy Crutchfield. Saints still having possession of the ball. Macaria Hines will get fouled. And Saints in the bonus. Hines just make, being a difference maker this game. A couple steals, a couple fouls, a couple points. She's just doing it all right now. So now Hines will go to the line for two. First shot up, no good by Hines. Looking to push this Saints lead even more with just 32 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Going one for two from the line. Makaria pushing the Saints lead up by nine. And now Rebo with the ball for the Falcons. Rebo to Bergquist. Now in the hands of Henderson. Henderson is going to drive, kick it out to Bergquist. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Rebo with it, trying to penetrate. Gets denied by Tart. And drawing the foul is Rebo. Foul is on uh, number 24 for the Saints. Yes. Uh, that would be Harmony Tart. Her first. Her first foul. Falcons uh, not doing much in that possession. They were just kind of making some dribble handoffs up high, not doing anything to produce. Uh, got away with that foul in the very end to save them. Falcons have a lot of faith in their free throw shooters. This is the third time that free throws have been shot, but they line no one up. Putting a lot of faith in uh, Laura Rebo, the junior from Argentina. As she goes one for two from the line, five seconds left to go in this first quarter. Tart with it is going to have to throw it up, and the charge call on Harmony. Harmony looks like she got two people there. She got uh, Rebo first uh, and then ran right through, I believe, number two, Henderson. Or was it number, number four, Metcalf? Not no, sure. No, Metcalf's on the bench. So there's okay. definitely Henderson. But with point seconds left to go, uh, Falcons probably just going to inbound it, see if they try and get a shot. They do not. That was an interesting play by the Falcons. Uh, you would think you'd want to inbound on the side of the goal, especially when Saints are not applying pressure defense so they can get a shot up. But that was not the decision made by the coach, and we're going to go into the second quarter. All right.
All right, and with that, we are coming back into the second quarter of this basketball game. Score 17 to nine in favor of the Saints. Falcons are gonna begin with the ball. We're gonna see what happens. That was Rebo uh, with the turnover for the Saints. Gonna go the other way. Luna is back in for the Saints, number four. She's gonna inbound the ball to Davis to start out this, qu this quarter. We also have number 44, Rhea Brady, in for the Saints, gonna start in, at the post. Lexi Wisenand also in the game as she gets the pass from Brady and she is going to drive and the yeah. nice reverse lay. Scoop. Lexi Wisenand with four points on the night, needing just one more, I believe, for that thousand mark as Rebo skips it to the corner. Corner three is no good. Rebounded goes to rebound goes to Rachel Darling for the Saints. Lexi Wisman is in the corner by herself. We got an overload for the Saints on their side. Nope, here comes Rich Bowen going to clear it out, space the floor. The corner three, no good by Luna in the hands of Darling, and Darling will get fouled on the shot. Foul by, I believe it's going to be Rebo. Good heads up play by Darling, able to get that rebound, knowing where to be, put it right back up. Great instincts to go and get that foul. Substitution for the Falcons. Uh, Metcalf coming in for Henderson. And the first shot is good for Darwin. Interesting <laughs> night going to be for the Saints here. Um, talking with Coach Z before the game, she is losing her voice. And so um, assistant coaches Tressa and Allen are going to have to uh, step up here. Um, they're very capable, know exactly what they're doing to make the things happen for the Saints. Rachel Darwin goes one for two from the line for the Saints. Rebounded by the Falcons. Rebo with it. We'll find Bergquist who shoots the three. No good. Rebounded by Brady. Loses it. Gets to the hands of Get that out of here. Olivia Bryson who gets swatted. No. By Rhea Brady. Second time tonight. Rhea has just denied any access to a shot at the rim. Russ are going to talk it over a little bit here. Not sure. See if there was a change of possession, I believe. Shot clock's at 30, implying that there was. So, yep, they're going to set the shot clock to 20 seconds now um, as the Falcons' Rebo will inbound it. Gets it. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication, and the ball will go out of bounds. Number four, Metcalf and Henderson collided in midair trying to get that ball, and the ball is going to go off of number four, Metcalf. Yeah, if I'm, uh, if I'm Henderson, I'm a little upset. Uh, she was up there at the top of the key the whole time just waving her arms, waiting for the ball. Ends up getting collided and then the ball off her knee. Tara Davis getting shifty with it. Rachel Darling with the ball in the corner. It's going to find Savannah Luna. Luna to Davis, who's going to zip it right to Brady in the post. Goes up and no good. And the ball will be out of bounds on the Saints. That's a little unfortunate circumstance there. Ray Brady was ready for the rebound. Lexi Wisenhan came in for the rebound, too. They hit it away from each other. Got to know who your teammate is, both who's getting the ball. Rebo with the ball for the Falcons. She is going to drive and teardrop floater. No good. Rebounded in the hands of Luna, and she's going to push it up quick. Rebo struggling with the floaters tonight. couple there off the edge. Oh, the mid-range shot was blocked. The mid-range shot of Lexi Wisenhan and Savannah Luna with the ball. Uh, puts it up, no good rebound by the Falcons. That was a great offensive move by Luna, but also just great defense. Exactly what you want to see from both coaches. And a two-pointer, uh, no good. And the ball will get popped in the air, rebounded by the Saints. Rachel Darling is going to get bumped by the refs trying to look for through the hair. It's number two, Melissa Henderson. That was an interesting goal. I did not think there was a foul there. Um, the ref running behind called that, so I'm sure he saw something that we did not see from up here. Substitution for the Saints, Rhea Brady coming out, and we've got uh, Makaria Hines coming in for Brady. Makaria Hines catches the ball. Great not to let it in. Lexi Wisenand with the mid-range. Coach D will call a timeout. And ladies and gentlemen, Lexi Wisenand with a 1,001 career points.
Love to see that. Had the, the crowd out for Lexi. Just, just had to know she was going to hit that mark uh, tonight. So very grateful and thankful for her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to take a lot of pressure off of Lexi uh, coming in. She's been talking about it for a while. She's been a little nervous getting ready for this game. Uh, knowing it's in reach and to do it at home is just such a great opportunity. Her whole family can be here to see it because um, she's from the area. It's a very special moment for the Saints. Saints had uh, called the 32nd timeout for that, and now we will be coming out of the timeout. Uh, it'll be the Falcons' ball. And, yeah, like you said, Tice, a lot of pressure off Lexi. Um, I don't believe that means she's still not going to score because she is seeming automatic from that mid-range tonight. So she's going to boost those career numbers up as uh, Rebo, uh, or sorry, excuse me, Rachel Darling gets a foul called on her. Um, There's a foul away from the ball. So the Falcons with a quick inbound. Number two, Henderson with it, will throw it to Birdquist, who's right behind her and went off Birdquist's hands. So uh, out of bounds, it'll be Saints ball. Tier Davis bringing it up for the Saints. Time's going to have the ball. She's scanning the four over to Darling in the corner. Good cut by Luna. Just saw it a little late. Unfortunate. She had a wide open cut to the basket. And the ball will be out of bounds on the Saints. So, oh. Uh, nope, okay, refs changed their mind a little bit there, so it'll be Saints ball. Luna with the inbound, trying to get it somewhere, finds Darling. Darling will get it to Davis, 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Mac uh, Macaria makes a move, drives, puts it up, no good, rebounded by Wizenand. No good, but rebounded by Hines. Davis going to feed Wizenand, and who's going to put it up, and good for Lexi Wizenand. Able to get comfortable now. Going to start playing a little more in the post. Work for her baskets. Make sure they are contested. See if she can get an and one. Rebo uh, seemingly getting away with a carry there. And Bergquist with the missed three-pointer. Goes into the hands of the Saints. Luna with it. Darling down the court. Is trying to find someone. Finds Wisnant for the mid-range. No good. And out of bounds on the Saints. We've got a couple substitutions for the Saints. Macy Crutchfield and... Macy Wisenand coming in for Lexi Wisenand and Macaria Hines. I don't believe I could have said that five times fast. Oh, the substitutions, two double names, first and last. <laughs> hey, Saints are up by 15, Saints. 620 left. Saints are up. That was just an unfortunate play on the last possession. Defender did exactly what she needs to do on Rachel. Play the outside while you're expecting contact. Difficult shot. That led to the turnover. Number two, Henderson with it. And the seemingly no-look pass by Coleman almost sailed out of bounds, but Rebo with it. And foul called on my man, number three, Atira Davis. My man up top not scared to blow his whistle. Lots of fouls, lots of off-ball calls tonight for the rest. Falcons Rebo with it is going to drive and put it up and good. Saints still lead by 13 with 5.58 left in this second or first half, excuse me. Savannah Luna directing traffic. Macy Wisenan catches it, puts it up and in. Great play by the Saints. Great cut, great pass, and a great bucket. Number four, Metcalf throws it up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Will hit to the corner. Um, okay. <laughs> there again, calling this <laughs> foul. But in benefit of the Saints this time, three-second call in the lane, not something that you often think about, typically in the back of your mind for anyone, especially on a play like that where she got her own rebound, not sure what to do with it, kicks it out. you got to get out. All right, Saints with it. Macy Wisenand with it, finds the cutting Luna. Kind of nice jump ball call there. I think that was the right call. I think that was the right call. And, yeah. Luna doing a good job getting that cut. You want to see a spin back there, almost. It'll stay Saints ball. Luna finds it tier Davis in the corner for three. No good. Davis with the effort will get her own rebound. And a foul call. I believe it'll be on, yep, number three, Diamond Coleman for the Falcons, her second of the night. Those fouls almost never go the way of the person who ends up on the ground. 
Typically those loose ball fouls, whoever ends up with it is the one that's gonna get the foul going their way. Substitution for the Saints, Rhea Brady, number 44, coming in for Rachel Darling. Saints with the ball, was an and with it. Finds Brady. Brady moving around with the ball. Hands it off to Davis. Davis doing a spin. Gets the Ooh. tough screen from Brady, but another jump ball call. So this time it will be the Falcons ball. And with that, we're going to have a timeout by the Falcons. 30 second. 30 timeout. second timeout. Saints lead 26 11. See you after the timeout. that we are back going to be the Falcons ball uh, after that 30 second timeout by the Falcons they have three timeouts left uh, as well as the Saints lots of timeouts here in this first half uh, being the ball game that it has been just going to see what the uh, coaches are calling Rebo with a deep three she just kind of slowly brought that ball up dribbled into it and let it rain I mean that is what you do growing up you just think you're Steph Curry Think you're Paul George gonna just dribble up, stop on the shot, <laughs> pull up from deep. Harmony Tarrant in the uh, game for the Saints. Rhea Brady with the ball, uh, finding the cutting Tart who just off the fingertips would have had a pretty decent look there, but Falcons ball. Good closeout by Lizzie. Number four, Metcalf with the shot, no good. Rebounded by Brady. Saints are just begging the Falcons to shoot. They are playing a 2-3 defense, and there was no one underneath where the three had to guard. Harmony Tart looking for somewhere to go with the ball. is just going to dribble and drive, throw it up. As she hits the floor, no foul call, because there was no foul there, but Falcons. Oh, Macy Crutchfield, what a block, and retains possession of the ball. Great block by Crutchfield there in the Saints. Trying to make some offense happen. Macy was an end with it now. Harmony Tart. Savannah Luna getting it to Rhea Brady. Cutting Harmony Tart finds Crutchfield. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Got to make something happen here if you're the Saints. Savannah Luna is going to get the ball tipped by Henderson, and Henderson is going to be driving. Good stop by mm. Luna. Going to make him force, push it out, set something up. Rebo with another deep three and a another out. She is cashing out tonight. Her floater game, not strong. <laughs> three point game, strong. The Saints will take a full timeout as they lead 26 17. Three minutes left to go in this first half. Yeehaw, we are back in the saddle. Coming in this closing of the first half of basketball. Saints up by nine, 307 left. Savannah Luna bringing it up for the Saints. Coach Z using some sign language over on the court, making some numbers, calling what she needs to call. Harmony Tart get, uh, cuts and puts it up, no good. 
Rebound finds it. Crutchfield finds Luna for three. Cash money by Luna. Moonshot. Love to see it. Great assist by Crutchfield there. Knew exactly what she needed to do. Kick it back out and then box out her man, giving Luna an open shot. And number 21, Bryson for the Falcons, answers right back. Don't get too hype, she says. The Saints called and she picked up the phone. She was ready. Luna with the ball, finding Macy Wizenan. Harmony Tart probably going to drive here, and she does going to put it up. No good. Harmony Tart so good at getting the ball in, creating her shots. She's got to finish. It's difficult. Falcons with the ball, and a foul is going to be called on. I believe it's going to be Harmony Tart. Yep, her third foul of the contest. Saints got to watch out. They've got... Van Tomey on the bench with three. Now Tart on the bench with three before halftime. You would think the Falcons would be the ones struggling with this, having so many or so little bench players. Um, few substitutions. Um, Ray Brady and Harmony Tart coming out. Lexi Wisenan and Rachel Darling coming in. Falcons with the ball. Mm, tough foul by <laughs> Crutchfield. <laughs> bodied, bodied her defender, uh, but had one arm down is what I'm assuming was what it was because she did not move. She was solid as a rock. Yeah, it looks like uh, in the uh, Looney Tunes when Wiley Coyote would run into the uh, painted wall. Um, the Falcons number 21, Bryson with the shot up and in, cutting the Saints lead just to seven. Uh, Saints need to get some more offense going. Rachel Darling with the ball. Had Macy Wisnan wide open in the corner, but saw it just a little too late. And good job, darling, putting the ball on the ground there. She was a very close to that five-second count. And the foul was called on number two Henderson for the Falcons. And substitution for the Falcons. Henderson will come out. And Revo uh, with a just a short little break. She's probably coming to look to hit some more threes. Yeah. Saints also with a substitution gonna bring Wizenhan out and Hines in. And Makaria Hines with the ball for the Saints, giving it to Luna. Luna's gonna hand it off to Rachel Darling, who's gonna get fouled by Metcalf. <laughs> Rachel Darling coming on the ground twice there. However, doing a great job drawing the fouls in two separate <laughs> possessions. She's a foul magnet, and the Saints are in the bonus, or is it the Falcons are in the bonus? Either way, Rachel Darling is going to go to the line to shoot two. Burkwell is doing a great job being a team leader there, talking to, uh, I believe, who had that foul? Number four, number, number four, four, Metcalf. Just talking to her, letting her know, hey, this is what happened. This is how you can do it better. Um, just great, great leadership there by Burkwell. And Rachel Darling goes one for two from the uh, charity stripe for the – Saints pushing the Saints lead up by eight. Charity strike. <laughs> and Rebo oh, wide open for three, and she is not going to miss that opportunity. Three for three in her past few shots. Just knocking down, knocking down the Saints lead too. Macaria Hines thought about the three, didn't want it. Getting it to Darling. Finds Luna. Luna's gonna pop the three. Does she answer back? No. Uh, rebound by the Falcons. Saints making a large lineup change. Got four people coming to the table. As Metcalf's shot goes up and no good, and it will go out of bounds. Saints ball, and like you said, we've got a heap of substitutions. We've got Macy Wisnan, Rhea Brady, Harmony Tart, and Atira Davis coming in. Um, it's just going to leave Lexi Wisenhan out on the floor. Yes. One minute left to go in this first half of action. Tira Davis looking to get a quick spark, maybe get some uh, momentum going to, into the second half. Harmony Tart cut, uh, cuts. Ray Brady, the ball is tipped. Number four, Metcalf dribbling the ball pretty high there. And the shot is up and no good. Rebound, Lexi Wisenand. Good job, Lexi. That's just a hit. veteran move there, knowing that she has to get that rebound, do whatever it takes to keep it, keep it alive. Saints need to do everything they can to not get a quick turnover or get a quick shot here. Tira Davis doing a good job knowing that they need to get a final shot here. Rhea Brady with the ball is going to lose it for a second, but retains possession. Eight seconds on the shot clock. 
is going to find Davis. Davis, five seconds, going to find Wisenand for the mid-range. No good. Rebound by Davis. Ooh. She didn't realize the ball had hit the rim, so the shot clock reset. So two seconds left. Rebo with the half court. No good. Good job, Lexi, keeping that ball in play, not allowing the Falcons to set anything up before halftime. Um, unfortunate end of the game, or end of the half for the Saints. So not exactly what you want to see, especially having such a big lead. Now it's a five-point lead. they got a lot to talk about in halftime. And we will see you there.
All right, and as we are getting back, closing out this halftime, a couple little stats to. Uh, they're still going. All right, fair enough. A uh, couple little stats to uh, get you going before we start. We've got number 22 Rebo for the Falcons, having 15 of their 25 points. Uh, the leading score for the Saints is Lexi Wisenhand with eight of their 30. <clears throat> Saints holding on to just a five point lead at the start of this second half. So wanting to probably grow that lead again. Um, and with it, Harmony Tart has the ball. And Savannah Luna will take an early three rimmed out, but rebounded by Rachel Darling. Lexi Wisnan with the ball. Trying to look for somewhere to go with it. Luna has the ball. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Rachel Darling is going to drive and pull up a mid-range. I believe it got blocked maybe, and it will fall into the hands of the Falcons. Number 35, Bergquist with it. Saints' largest lead of the game was 15 points. Uh, they held that lead for six minutes and 55 seconds. For the Falcons, number two, Henderson stepped on the uh, out-of-bounds line. So it'll be the Falcons, or the, excuse me, the Saints ball. That's a lie. They held it at the six minute, 55 minute, second mark. Gotcha. Not for six minutes, 55 seconds. <laughs> Rachel Darling finds the cutting tart, who is going to get called for a travel. Would have been a nice Euro step there, just... Unfortunately, I forgot to put the ball on the ground before she made it. Number 22, Rebo, bringing the ball up for the Falcons. A um, couple other stats. The Falcons led in steals 7-4 to four against the Saints. Um, but the Saints led in blocks 2-1. to one. The shot was good there by the Falcons. Number 21, Olivia Bryson, cutting the Saints lead just to three. Harmony Tart with the ball for the Saints. Uh, looking for something. Finds Van Tomey at the top of the key. He's going to get it to Luna. Luna's going to find Tart. Tart's going to put it up and no good. She saves it from going out of bounds. So Luna with it, but the shot clock still rolling four seconds. Tart with another shot that goes in and out. There is just a lid on the basket for Tart tonight. I know all too well how frustrating that can feel just being Someone who is so active just cannot put the ball in the rim. The the ball went out of bounds on the Falcons, uh, so it'll remain. It'll be the Saints' ball. Savannah Luna inbounding it with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Finds Van Tomey, who makes a nice move but comes up just short, and it will be a jump ball. Good to see Van Tomey back out on the floor after having this quick three fouls early in the first half. Not able to get the shot there, but it's just about getting the shots up for her, uh, forcing the Falcons to adjust their defense. And number 22, Rebo, bringing the ball up for the Falcons, and she is just going to drive, dish it into the paint to Bergquist, who's going to run out to the corner. Gets it, uh, Bergquist ball back in hand. She's going to drive, put it up, no good. Rebound by Darling who is going to get out of the traffic, getting it to Luna. And Luna throws high pass out of the reach of Lexi Wisenand. Ball in hand for the Falcons. Uh, Metcalf was with it, and then the shot no good by Bryson. And the... Ball is gonna went out of bounds on the Saints, so it'll remain Falcons possession. Rebo catching the inbounds pass. Gets it to Bergquist. Bergquist gonna make a move on Van Tomey who shot who blocks the shot. Great by Van Tomey. Maybe thought hurt based on her face. She thought she fouled. Uh, but called the block, so great block by her. Savannah Luna with the ball is going to find Lexi Wisenand, who's looking for somewhere to get it to. Tries to get it to Darling, almost thrown away. And Rachel Darling's going to drive and put it up and in. Rachel Darling. Rachel Darling, every time she shoots, just looks like she's forcing it in, but able to make a nice, smooth lay. Not a lay. Nice, smooth drop, drop shot. 
Bergquist with the sh uh, ball, getting it to Rebo with Rebo with a nice spin move, but the shot up no good for Rebo. That's a good move by Rebo. Luna getting the ball to Macaria Hines, finds Van Tomey in the corner. Back to Darling. Saints looking to run some form of play, it seems. Darling Ooh, to Van over. Tomey. Van Tomey to Macaria Hines. Hines for three. No good. Rebound falls into the oh, hands Terry. of Metcalf, and she is going to get called for the travel. A lot of quick action here um, in this uh, second half, about three and a half minutes in, but only two buckets per team so far. But just a lot of stuff going on. Savannah Luna with the ball. Makaria Hines trying to get open. Luna to Van Tomey. Van Tomey's going to make a move and gets fouled. She has an opportunity here to score her first points of the game with that nice move. Van Tomey just continually going back to up and under as she knows so well. The foul was on Rebo, number 22, her third. Woo! Kind of embarrassing, uh, but happens to the best of us. A little bit of an air ball on the free throw. Shake it off. <laughs> Get back into it. Free throws are all about form. All about muscle, memory, and repetition. Sometimes it just happens. Uh, ref's doing a little bit of uh, some discussion. A little chit-chat. Talk to talk. Not exactly sure what happened, but uh, second free throw for Van Tomey on the way. And it is up and good. There it is. With that, Davis is going to come in for the Saints. Give Wisenhand a little bit of a break. Uh, maybe a scoreboard error, or? Nah, not with our new fancy scoreboards. <laughs> I think maybe the foul was uh, mis-inputted in. Oh, is Macaria Hines heads up defense. She is a ball hawk tonight. She was just waiting. Did not get faced. She just threw her hands out and swatted that away. Already a couple steals, and that just interjection there. Uh, Saints lead 33-27 to 27 is the Ball goes wide, still in the hands of the Falcons. Um, and looks like. Falcons head coach not happy with that, looking for the call. Um, Asked, pleads with one ref, goes pleads with the other ref. Now, final ref is going to talk to her, going to call her over, wants to talk. Oh, a little secret. <laughs> Whispering secrets. Probably telling her what he's getting her for Christmas, I think. Okay. Uh. There's no money exchange going on here. I'm <laughs> no. washing her hands. Don't worry, don't worry. She's just getting an explanation. Seems to respond to it very well. Um, love to see that. Good job by all parties there. Not throwing out tape goals, not getting <laughs> mad. Just. So it will be the Saints ball. Uh, Davis with it, getting it to Van Tomey. Making a couple of jab steps, and she will get called for One, the two travel. Falcons inbounding it. Number 22, Rebo with it. And she is going to drive. Fake. Has the wide open corner. Uh, passes up on the shot. Rebo making a nice move. But the shot is up and no good. And that is another foul drawn by Rachel Darling <laughs> for the Saints. She's doing a great job for them. That foul is brought to you by number four. Metcalf. Metcalf, her fourth. She just kind of flew in there trying to get the rebound and couldn't collect her footing, so she crashed right into Rachel Darling. Those are always scary to see. You never know where people are going to land. Don't want to see someone land on her knee the wrong way. Savannah Luna give and go. Cuts. No, no good by Luna. A good attempt, though, uh, but the Falcons will have possession of the ball. Rebo is going to go. Nice move. Uh, shot up and no good again by her. Davis with the ball is going to drive. That is Rebo's second time getting hit in the head this game. Goes back to holding that same eye that she held earlier. Makaria Hines with it, loses it, gets it stripped. As the Falcons push it up, number two, Henderson. 
Shot is up and good. And with that, the scoring drought of this quarter has ended. Yes, Van Tomey did have a free throw, but as it was so pleasantly called earlier today, that is the charity strike. Does not count. <laughs> and the Falcons will call a 30-second timeout. As the crowd cheers, let's go Saints. We are back in it in this third quarter. Five minutes left to go. Been a pretty slow, pretty slow third quarter. But as I said, there was a big scoring drought. Finally just ended for both teams um, by the Falcons. Let's see if the Saints can respond. Saints, it's here. Davis getting it to Darling. Darling getting it back to Hines. Swinging it. Every player's touched the ball so far. And it goes and up and in. in. For Atira Davis, every player on that Saints team touched the ball in that possession, and it ends in an and one, barring the free throw from Davis. I mean, if that's not enough to make a coach cry, I don't know what <laughs> is. Just excellent basketball. Davis taking her full time to shoot free throws. And is up and, ooh, no good, but rebounded by Van Tomey. He's going to put it back up. No good. Jump ball call. And so it will stay Saints ball. Difficult choice there by Van Tomey. Um, she's good in the post, wants to put it back up. Sometimes you do want to see him kick out, though. Use that full shot clock that they just received. But Saints have the ball. We're good to go. Luna's going to inbound this ball. Saints in a four low set. See what happens. Darn's going to come over, set a screen. Van Tomey with it. Is going to just gets hounded and another jump ball. Back to bank jump balls. I think she was trying to read the play, see what developed. She did have Davis open in the top of the key though. She could have dished it off there. Again, hindsight is 2020 though, so it's always easier to talk about the play after the play has happened. Substitution me Melissa Henderson uh, coming out and Nakia Metcalf coming in for the Falcons rip Rebo with the ball for the Falcons, and she is going to pop it to Bergquist, who's going to throw it up. No shot, no good. Rebound, corralled by Darling. Hines is doing a great job tonight, taking the big responsibility of guarding Rebo, and she's been shutting her down this, half, or this quarter. The ball was just intercepted by Rebo, and she will get it to uh, Bryson. Olivia Bryson, who gets fouled on the shot. She will go to the line for two. Bryson doing a great job getting up, getting that foul. Sometimes if you just kind of throw it up there, 50-50 if you're going to get the foul or not. <laughs> I think Davis was doing what she could, keeping her hands up. Bryson's going to go ahead and explain it to her. I like that ref over there. He's done a good job explaining to the coach, good job explaining to Davis and everyone else, just knowing what's going on. First free throw, no good uh, by Olivia Bryson. And Oh, and a lane violation. Double whammy. <laughs> Tough. No free throws and a stoppage of play. So it'll be Saints ball with 4-10 left in this third quarter. Savannah Luna with the ball is going to get it to Darling in the corner. And Luna cuts. Shot is up and no good. Rebound. Couple people... A uh, foul on that called on Savannah Luna, her third. I believe Santa, Savannah was probably just trying to initiate another jump ball, but no good there. And uh, substitution Luna will come out, and Macy Wisnand will come in. All right, and we have Rebo up top makes a nice move off the screen on Hines. Going to kick out to the corner of number two, Henderson. Henderson going to miss that shot. Rebound attempt by number 21, Bryson. Bryson 
gets the lucky bounce off of her defender, going to keep the ball on the Falcons. We see number 35, uh, Berquist, going to throw it in. Everyone spreads for the Falcons on that free throw, or that inbound attempt. Macy Wisenham coming in for the Saints, going to guard up, see what makes happen. As Bergquist drives and gets the bucket. Saints holding on to just a four-point lead with 3.20 left to go in this third quarter. Macy Wisenham finds Davis, who's going to drive and swing it out to Darling. Darling's going to pop the mid-range, and it is oh, cash. I was about to comment on the missed three. They had a couple of missed three-point opportunities there that were open. But Darling's just going to go ahead and shut me up right there and <laughs> put one in. Metcalf with the ball was just hounded by Makaria Hines. Hines just new to get back, though. Smart playing by Hines on defense, and as I say that, I believe she's getting ready to be called for foul. Dang it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> now, Hines has picked up a big role, as I said. Rebo was four for six from three in the first half, and all of them were multiple steps behind the three-point line. Foul was indeed called by Hines, just her second. As the Falcons inbound it, Hines guarding, just putting her hands up. Shot is up and no good. Rebound finds the hands of Lexi Wisenhan. That is right, found the hands of Wisenhan. <laughs> Makaria Hines with the ball. He is going to drive and just has a wide open lane, and it is good. good. Ball hung on for a second, but decided to drop. Nice roll. I don't think she was expecting a lane that big. Took her two steps early, had to kind of throw it up high, hoping for something. And now she's back on defense, sitting. Rebo getting shifty with it. Is going to kick it to the three-point line, and the shot is up and no good. Rebound again by Wisenhand. Wisenhand did a lot in that possession. While she was not the one guarding, she was calling out everyone's position where they're going, called the screen, stopped the ball with a check, and then got the rebound. Makaria Hines with it again is going to find Wisenhand. Wisenhand for the mid-range. Good. Yeah. She this is automatic. The no jump jump shot there. She just form shooting, laid it in. Number four, Metcalf with it for the Falcons. Broke her own player's ankles. That's a highlight reel if there's anyone else. And, ooh, Rhea Brady fouls on the shot attempt by Olivia Bryson, who will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Brady with some major blocks early in this game, looking for another one. But that swing, if you do not make all contact with the ball and it's visible as all contact with the ball, the rest are going to call that every single time. First free throw, no good by Bryson. The uh, Falcons head coach, lots of faith again, just in her players after a major miss, and now she's going to have all of them over on the sideline. She will go one from one for two from the line, and substitution, Bryson coming out, and Diamond Coleman, number three, coming in for her. Saints inbound. Atira Davis has the ball for the Saints, getting it to Macy Wisnan, finding her sister Lexi. Back to Macy for the Macari Hines for wide open mid range. No good. Rebounded by Macy Wisnan. She puts it up. No good. Oh, that little tic tac foul right there. Just trying to reach in, stop the fast break. Does benefit the Saints, I guess. No fast break, no easy points. The rebound was uh, by number 35, Bergquist. And the, with that foul, it'll take the. Uh, Falcons into the bonus, and Bergquist will take two free throws. That foul was brought to you by Atira Davis, uh, her third of this game. She's going to stay in, though. Um, maybe. Looks like Tart is coming to the table to check in. And Bergquist hits her first. They did not see the uh, sub. Uh, I guess we're not going <laughs> to get a substitution here. We'll And free throws, one for two for Bergquist. Rhea Brady with the rebound. Macy Wisnan with it is going to find uh, Davis. Rachel Darling with it in the corner. Gets the screen from Brady. Rachel trying to make something happen now in the hands of Macy Wisnan. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. We're going to give it to the leading scorer for the Saints so far this season, Tira Davis, who... Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. Ray kind of throws up her hands, puts them right back down. That's a tough foul to get. I've had 
many of those in my day. It was just the, you kind of want to move a hip over, move a leg out, whatever it is. They're going to call that almost every time. you got to stand still in those screens. And substitution, Harmony Tart coming in for Tira Davis. Number four, Metcalf with it. And she, Metcalf, and she's going to drive. Shot no good. It was rebounded by Wizenand, Lexi, but. That might have been one of the best situations I could have for the Saints. You see uh, Ray Brady kind of trying to direct people to where they need to go. Metcalf was able to just drive in unguarded with the miscommunication. Lexi Wizenand inbounding it to Macy Wizenand, who's bringing the ball up. Saints need to get some offense going. Uh, Harmony Tart with the ball in hand. That foul was brought to you by number three, Coleman, her third, also the game. That is 3-3-3-3 three, 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 three <laughs> on the last two fouls. Uh, and an offensive call. Offensive foul call on Rhea Brady. She's picked up three quick fouls. Three, 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 <laughs> three on the last three fouls. Uh, Falcons with the ball. Saints still holding on to an eight-point lead with 37 seconds left to go with, in this third quarter. And with that, we are going to go ahead and see Van Tomey come back in, who also has three fouls. So, Rachel Darling guarding uh, Metcalf, who has the ball. He's going to give it to Bergquist. Back to Metcalf. Oh, nice this one. pass. Diamond Coleman with it, gets it to Bergquist, who's going to drive. And the shot is up and in. Clock is running. Saints got to push the ball up the court. I mean, they don't take too much time. Uh, they got time to set something up here. Ten seconds left in this quarter. Harmony Tart with the ball gets the screen from Macy Wisnan. Rachel Darling with it. It's going to find Van Tomey, who's going to Just throw, it, away. throw it into uh, two uh, Falcons right in the hands. And the last second shot, no good by the Falcons as the Saints lead six going into the fourth quarter. Howdy duty. We are back. <laughs> At the start of the fourth uh, quarter, the Saints lead by 641 to 35, and the ball will be in the hands of. Where's that ref going? Okay. Oh, no. Into the hands of the Falcons. You're just kind of running away. <laughs> in the hands of the. But Al. Sicko mode. All right. Falcons inbounding the ball. Uh, number four, Metcalf, giving it to Bergquist, who's just going to throw it up as she hits the deck. Shot is no good. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the ref was talking about using artificial noisemakers during live ball situations. They cannot do that being an indoor arena. And Harmony Tart's shot is no good. Uh, another jump ball call, and it will be the Saints ball still. Savannah Luna coming in for Macy was an end. Which is interesting because there is not really any rules against playing music during the game, which would be artificial noise, <laughs> but cannot be live. Rachel Darling with it, uh, finding Harmony Tardy is going to pull up the mid-range. <laughs> Silky smooth. The Falcons with the ball. 
as number two Henderson fires from three, and it is good. Savannah Luna bringing the ball up for the Saints. Uh, catch by Lexi with a roll. Saints gonna go too high. Harmony Tart with it is looking for somewhere to go. Finds Van Tomey. Van Tomey's going to kick it to the corner. Luna back to Van Tomey. He's going to make a move. Throws it up. No good. Shot clock still live. Great effort by Lexi Wisenand there. Gets the rebound, putting it right back up, knowing the shot clock is still going. Wisenand. Didn't reset. Wisenand on this big night, been leading the Saints in scoring. For her. Oh, what a move. Million dollar move. Ten cent finish for Rebo there. She made a nice move to get to the basket, but the shot was a little bit off. She just needs to go ahead and step right back out of that three-point line where she was making a difference. Lexi Wisnan with the ball trying to find something. Finds Rachel Darling. Saints just swinging it around. Luna with it. Throws it up to Fantomi using her height, and she puts it up and in. Saints pushing the lead up to 10 there. Metcalf with the ball for the Falcons, guarded by Luna. Metcalf tries to do an in and out move. Um, ended up working, not the way that you would expect an in and out move to work, but Luna was got called for that reach-in foul. That was her fourth foul. Ooh, gonna go ahead and sub her out here. We will, Coach Z wants her in for the end of this game. But Atir Davis is not a bad sub coming <laughs> to the Saints. The Falcons with the quick inbound shot. Good by uh, number 21, Olivia Bryson there. Tier Davis with it, giving it to Rachel Darling. Gets the screen from Van Tomey. Harmony Tart resetting. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Back to Tart, who's going to drive and put it up. And no good. Rebound again by Lexi Wisenand. And she hits the shot. She is now in, well into double digits. Uh, I believe that is her 12th point of the game. Could have missed one. Could be 14. Olivia Bryson with the shot. No good rebound by Wisenand. Tier Davis pushing it up. Great She'll pass by Davis. Finds Van Tomey with a quick score. Good left hand by uh, Van Tomey there. She's able to lay it in. And timeout call by the Falcons, full timeout. So we will see you then after. All right, coming out of the full timeout by the Falcons. It'll be Falcons ball, number 35, Bergquist, inbounding. Number 22, Rebo with it. And Rebo's going to make a nice move to get a good shot up and in. Makari Hines with the ball for the Saints. Tier Davis with it. Gets a great screen by Wisenand, Wisenand, or Davis to Darling. Now with Hines. Another good screen by Wisenand. She tries to cut. And there will be a reach in foul by number two, Melissa Henderson. Um, 
I hope you like my voice and just my voice alone. You are stuck with me for the rest of tonight. We got a guys game after this. Uh, my co-commentator, Ty Slobinger, had some church duties to attend to, so uh, we'll be missing him as Bakari Hines finds the cutting. Wizenand, who's going to throw the shot up no good, and Rachel Darling throws it up, also no good. Saints with some great offensive rebounds. That one goes into the hands of Macy Crutchfield, and she gets the basket. Number four, Metcalf with the ball for the Falcons. Shot, just a two-pointer by uh, Bryson. No good, rebounded by the Saints. Davis with it, kick it to Rachel Darling, who is going to drive, uh, get it to Crutchfield. Crutchfield gets it back to Davis. Davis wanting a screen uh, of some sort. She is going to drive, and the ball is tipped off the hands of one of the Falcons. So it will stay Saints ball as Lexi Wisenand comes out. Macy Wisenand, her sub. Tira Davis. Inbounding it to Wisenant back to Davis for the three. It is good. Cash money for Atira Davis. Nice give and go for the Saints. Now number two, Henderson with the ball, guarded by Darling, who is going to get the foul called on her. Frustrated with that, rightfully so. Um, that is her second foul of the night, so not in too bad of a shape there. Substitution for the Falcons. Uh, number 21, Bryson coming out. Number three, Coleman coming in. Falcons inbounding it. Goes to uh, Bergquist with it. Finds Rebo. Rebo, an offensive flamethrower, needs to get going if the Falcons want a chance to come back. And she will step back for three. No good. Rebound finds Macy Crutchfield. Great heads-up defense by Makaria Hines. Not too rough, so she didn't want to draw a foul. And Hines with the ball now. It's going to pop the two-pointer. No good. Uh, rebounded by Rebo for the Falcons. And Rebo is off to the races. The nice swing pass to number four, Metcalf. And she um, gets ran into. And she will go to the line. That was an and-one call. Oh, no, excuse me, no, nope. just a foul call, not a shooting foul, but that one was also called on Rachel Darling. Um, I don't believe that yeah, that was not uh, intentional by Darling. She's just kind of backing up and accidentally knocked her over. Uh, but Rachel Darling will get subbed out, and Rhea Brady in for her. A uh, ref seeming to calm some, trying to tell some players to calm down as the Falcons, Bergquist inbounding it, gets it to... Rebo. We had a bit of a shot clock issue there. Uh, so it'll go down to 19. Still Falcons ball. Rebo with it. Bergquist gets fouled hard by Crutchfield. Falcons, number 22, Rebo inbounding it. Bergquist with it, and she will pull up the shot. No good. Goes off the hands of Saint, some Saints. So it'll stay Falcons ball. Bergquist looking to inbound. Gets it to Rebo. Rebo is going to give it back to Bergquist, who's going to lose the ball, but gets it back, finds Coleman. Rebo again with it, but she will get called on the travel. Everybody kind of slow to get set to there. The ball was just kind of no man's land there. Tier Davis inbounding it to Macaria Hines. 4.18 left to go in this game. Saints lead by 13. Hines getting crowded. Need They need to get it to... Needed to get it across the line, and they did. 
and the foul is called on number 22, Rebo, her third. Uh, substitution for the Saints, Crutchfield coming out, and Macy Wisenand coming in. McCarney Hines catches the inbound. Hines getting the screen from Brady, and Hines going to drive in. Going to call the foul on number three, Diamond Coleman. And that will be her fourth foul, and I believe they're calling, yep, a sh shooting foul. So Hines will go to the line for two. Uh, Hines no good on the first. Hines goes one for two from the line to push the Saints lead up by 14. Now number four, Metcalf, has the ball for the Falcons. Tier Davis playing some aggressive defense as Metcalf drives in and no good shot. Rebound by Macy Wisenhand. And she is going to get fouled by Metcalf. Both teams with four fouls, so the next one will send uh, the, uh, the opposing team to the free throw line. As the Tier Davis bring the ball up for the Saints. Luna with it. She's going to drive, get the screen from Brady, and Luna's going to have a wide open three, and she takes it. Shot is good. Great shot for Savannah Luna to push the Saints lead back up to 17 as Rebo's just going to quickly drive, put the floater up and in. Wasting no time there. Macaria Hines with it. Saints need to keep up this offense to keep the game out of the hands of the Falcons. Luna with it's going to find Macaria Hines. Open for the mid-range, or the three-point. No good. Rebound to Macy Wisenand. Who is going to have another shot? No good. As... Number two, Henderson, driving in for the Saints, gets the ball smacked away by Davis. And Bergquist will take the shot. It is a uh, three-pointer. And a full timeout called by the Falcons. Saints lead 60-48. All right, coming out of the Falcons timeout, Harmony Tart inbounding it for the Saints. She'll get it to Davis. Falcons running trap on the inbound. Saints will get it across the uh, half-court margin. Savannah Luna with uh, control of the ball. Van Tomey in, catches the pass on the as she cuts and finds it to Davis. Davis to Tart, who's going to drive, and a blocking call. I believe that'll be on, yep, number 22, Rebo, as Harmony Tart will go to the line for two. Rebo getting her, uh, that is her fourth foul of the, tonight.
Tarts first one goes in. And Tart goes two for two from the line, pushing the Saints lead up to 14. Rebo with the ball, passing it to Henderson for two. Uh, the shot is good. Cutting the Saints lead just to 12. Davis bringing the ball up for the Saints. <clears throat> nice movement with the ball. She's looking to get open. Get an open shot, finds Luna. Van Tomey with a nice screen and cut and great pass by Luna. Great sequence from the Saints. Van Tomey hits it home. And Rebo trying to do some fancy passing, gets picked off by Luna, and Luna is just gonna throw it up. Uh, finds hands of Rachel Darling, trying to get something, and she will throw her inter an interception of her own. This time uh, goes to Diamond Coleman. Rebo with the ball for the Falcon. She's gonna drive and flip it up. No good. Tira Davis with it is just going to drive fast and throw it up. Probably want to look at to just hold on to the ball there. Uh, game is seemingly within reach, or not within reach for the Falcons. Uh, Saints up 14 with just a minute three left. So Rebo is going to pass it, and they're going to pass it around. Bergquist with it. She's going to lose it on the way up. And Harmony Tart pushing up quick. And she will find Claire, and Claire Van Tomey. Hits it home. With 40 seconds left to go, Saints leading by 16. Rebo with the ball for the Falcons, and she's just going to drive, get draw the foul. Foul was on number 21, Rachel Darling for the Saints. That is her fourth. Rebo will go to the line to shoot two free throws. First one is no good. And Rebo goes one for two from the line. Harmony Tart inbounding the ball to Savannah Luna. And they are going to trap Luna, and the Falcons are going to pick it off. And Henderson with the ball and is going to throw the shot up. It is good. They're going to trap again, and they are going to play the foul game with 21 seconds down by 13. Harmony Tart's going to go to the line to shoot two free throws. <laughs> Number 35, Bergquist, just strolling on down to there. Tart, first one's good. We want to remind you that uh, shortly after this girls game, we have a uh, men's game as they also play Kansas Christian. Falcons, so you want to stick around and watch that game. Implore you to do so. Harmony Tart. I believe there was maybe a technical call. Uh, refs seeming to, or just uh, talking it over. That was a technical foul call on number 21, Olivia Bryson. That was just her first foul of the night. Um, so Harmony Tart will go to the line to shoot the technical free throw. Free throws, excuse me.
And she goes two for two from the line. And that'll be Falcons ball with 16.6 seconds left in this game. Or no, it will stay. It will be the Saints ball. It's a technical foul, so it'll say Saints ball. Uh, Tira Davis will inbound it. And Falcons are... See if they're going to foul or not. Doesn't look like they are. But Saints just throwing up a shot. They don't need to. Just three seconds left. Just hold on to it. And just like that, the Saints will take the victory here at home. They take down the Kansas Christian Falcons 72-53. And once again, we want to congratulate, congratulate Lexi Wisenand on hitting the 1,000-point mark in her career here uh, at Central. Um, hoping to add some more points on as the season goes. I want to thank you for tuning in here tonight. Um, and again, we have a men's game right after this, or slow, shortly after this. So if you'd like to tune in, that would be great.